Thank you for staying with us. Well, as you can see, the spirit of Christmas is already in the air. You feeling it yet? Well, ask the video. Now, let's talk about the Methodist College's uh, 100 years anniversary when the Primitive Methodist Mission opened the doors of the Uzakoli Institute at Uzakoli in Bende, local government area of Abia State, to students January 8, 1923. I wasn't born at the time. It was doubtful that they of could have envisaged the <laughs> impact that the college will have on its immediate environment and the wider society. The indigents were not friendly at first and gave the mission the evil forest. Much good has come from that forest. So do we not call it good forest? Well, there's a lot to unpack from all of that because the reach of uh, Methodist College stretched beyond Uzakole. Uh, students enrolled from all over the country and even from the Cameroons. One of the most prominent was Edwin Obu, an Idoma icon who was the permanent representative of Nigeria to the United Nations. Clement Isong, some of you will remember him in the Second Republic. He was the governor of the Central Bank of, and of Cross River State. His face is on the 1,000 Naira note. Yes, that's him. He, and then Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Kanu Agabe, was twice Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation. He is from Cross River State. Egbert Udo Udoma is from Akwaibom State. He was Chief Justice of Uganda and later a Justice of the Supreme Court in Nigeria. Justice Austin Namani was from Enugu State. He's a financial expert and a paramount Okay, as well as a financial expert and paramount ruler in Bonnie Kingdom, His Royal Highness, say Alabo Reginald Abbey Hart. He is from River State. These are some of the products of the Methodist College. And you college. mustn't forget the first Nigerian O and G doctor. Oh, see, we could go on and on. Oh, Korongwa Ogan. We could go on and on on that list, and um, quite a number, really. Wow, quite a number dates back very many years. Let's have conversations around this this morning with uh, Chima Eric Mbubwebo, who is an old student of the Methodist College, Uza Koli. Let's begin with him. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you very much. We also um, have Pastor, uh, yeah, Pastor Emmanuel Lanyele, who is also an old student of the school. Thank you for joining us, Pastor. Thank you. Good morning. Okay. Let's begin with you, uh, Mr. Mbubwebo. Um, uh, you must have some extremely fond memories of the school. Yes, I do really have uh, very fond memories of the school. We, I joined the school in 1970, which was immediately after the um, Civil War, the Biafra Nigeria War. And um, the school had suffered a lot of devastation. Um, all the documents that we had there were looted, many of the buildings uh, had been damaged. So uh, we came to a place that was overgrown with grass, you know, filled with animals. But that was a place that changed over a very short period uh, for us to restore the excellence in um, academia and uh, behavior that you know has been in that school right from its onset. Let me just go back a bit because I said I joined immediately after the war. Um, the war itself was a time of importance to that school uh, because it was um, the main site of the Directorate for Research and Production um, in, in the country that was a city at the time, you know, where uh, we actually had our own oil refinery. Uh, we talk about oil these days, but this was actually something uh, that we were able to produce in that school, produce our own soils. So produced uh, uh, chemicals that were supposed to be used for antidotes um, uh, for any chemical, uh, um, uh, if we had a chemical attack during the war. Um, so that was part of our contribution and many old boys were very active in that process. But let me just draw, go back a bit. Uh, you mentioned Clement Isong. I want to perform a little experiment. Anybody in Nigeria now can dip their hand into their pocket and bring out a thousand naira. And in that thousand naira, you see Clementi Song, who mm -hmm. is at Old Boy for our school. What that means, in effect, 
is that every Nigerian is carrying Methodist College Uzoa College in his or her office <laughs> or in their bank account. So, I must know, applaud it. that. I must <laughs> applaud that. <laughs> yeah, so, so you can't escape Uzoa College whether you like it or not. So we're not just celebrating our school. We're celebrating the nation mm -hmm. <laughs> because whether you like it or not, you are part of us. You know, except the currency is changed by... At least, uh, at least one thing we can say is that Nigeria is older than your school. So let's also take pride in that. <laughs> let, me, let me ask uh, Pastor Ayele. Uh, my, my apologies, we'll, we'll come back to you. Well, Pastor Ayele, I'm sure you also have uh, fond memories of your alma mater. Yes, we joined the college in 1974, soon after Dr. Chima left. And um, we're happy to join the, tra the same tradition they witnessed. Hmm a place for character building, a place for excellence in academics and religion. And we also saw some of the devastation they experienced early in the 70s. It is a place one cannot easily forget. The values of the college, which we hold a very high esteem even till today. So Methodist College is what I play. We usually say it is the first before the rest of the institutions. So it is the best institution anyone can think of, one of the foremost colleges in Igbo land. Mm. All right, well, let, let me ask you, so let me come back to you, uh, Mr. Mbebewu. The school is celebrating 100 years, and um, let's first of all talk about that because we have very limited time what are the highlights of the centenary and, and uh, anniversary celebration of the school uh, the, which the old boys are putting together yes um what we are actually intending to do is to have a year-long celebration that starts uh, from today and tomorrow basically and what we intend to do this year you know apart from having a thanksgiving service for god having uh, uh, been with us for the past 100 years, we are you know, uh, going to honor our icons who are over 80 years old. Uh, so we're going to present them with mementos. Um, and we are going to, you know, of particular importance is the um, unveiling of what you think the infrastructure of the place is going to be. Um, I, unfortunately, I can't show you that now because it's going to be unveiled tomorrow where we think we're going to reconstruct the school. And we expect people to actually key into this uh, over uh, a period. And we think that's going to be the start of not only changing the uh, physical infrastructure in the place, but to change uh, the whole um, ethics, well, not change the ethics of the place, change the curriculum to make it um, a more forward-looking uh, place. We are not immune to all the problems that people face in Nigeria. So we, we don't have the kind of resources that we have, that we need. But this is what we expect to start today. We have the governor of the state, uh, uh, Dr. Alex Oti, actually coming to the college tomorrow morning to join us in the Thanksgiving service and we'll plant a commemorative uh, tree. As you know, this place belongs to uh, the college. Is, um, is owned by the Methodist Church. So over the next year, we're going to have a lot of Methodist Church involvement in the we expect, or we have been told by the previous of Methodist Church that they'll be there next year, you know, to join us in the celebration. So for us, this is a start of a process of a year-long celebration and a lot of activities that we'll be doing, which will include football matches, which will include uh, gala nights, which will include um, a lot of um, 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 Concerts, because we have people who are, who are I don't know, well, if, uh, if you're in a uh, Christian world, you, have, you will have heard of uh, Buchi Atuang, you know, who is the product of the school, or Professor uh, Achinivu, you know, who has been um, helping with Harcourt White's music. So we have a lot of things planned, but this is just the beginning of that. Okay. Um, uh, Pastor, we will go back yeah. to the lineup for the anniversary, but uh, quickly, um, more and more, the old students of schools have become more involved in the progress and development of their alma maters. Um, what has been the influence, or should I say, um, the effect that the old boys have had 
on the Methodist College? Yes, since the, uh, the Old Boys Association started in 1948, the Old Boys have been prominent in infrastructural development. And in recent times, various branches, various classes, sets have been coming to the college to engage in one development program or the other. In the last few years, a branch has uh, renovated the castle, the pride of the college. Another branch, uh, an old, old boy, has also done the principal's uh, quarters. Another one has done the chapel. Another set has done the uh, uh, renovated the main hall. These are places anyone that comes to the college would want to visit. And then the laboratories. Various sets have things going on in the college. So we are all doing three. Another one is doing a, dis a dispensary in the college. So the old boys have their influence uh, in, the, in what is going on in the college. And what we are going to do today and tomorrow in the college will also afford us an opportunity to get out the master plan for refounding the college the way we want it to be. Mm. So the, the church service will herald the celebrations tomorrow, am I correct? Yes, we have a, we have a public lecture today. We have a oh. lecture by Professor Mbao Kurongpo and other things we need to do in the college. Then tomorrow will be the Thanksgiving service. Thanksgiving service, the college at 100. Thanksgiving service, and after that, we go into other old boys. It's in fact, it's a, it's a homecoming centenary celebration. We have our, homo, uh, our normal AGM, which holds every two years. So we hold the AGM after the service tomorrow. And just as Dr. Chima said, we are going to honor our icons who are 80 years and above. Uh, so, how do you round up the whole event, which is uh, what you say is a whole year, don't you? Yes, yes, it's a whole year. Yes, so, I mean, what do you have planned up for each month of the next 12? Um, the, 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 we, I can't actually give you a month-by-month -month, um, thing, because that, that's one of the things that we're going to decide on today. Okay. But among the things that we've planned, you know, without actually giving dates, are we are going to have a football tournament, um, that will involve uh, some of our peer colleges, you know, like Government College, Umoa, here, like GMGS, like Hope Porto. Um, that's particularly important to us because Uzakola has been very prominent in football. We had Namji Bukiji who captained the uh, um, Nigerian Academy because that beat, um, beat um, Ghana 5-1, you know, quite a long time ago. And even the first Nigerian football team, when they were called the Red Devils, you know, had and as well, I member, you know, a person there. They, they, they traveled, uh, they went, they had the tour of uh, the UK in 19, uh, 1949, and he was chosen as the face of the football team because they thought, you know, he had the bearing, you know, to be able to do that. That was a team that included people like Teslim Balogun and Dan Anyam. So that's one of the things we are going to do. We intend to have gala dinners, in several parts of the country, Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt, where we should be for fundraising. And over this period, we we'll think that some of the structures that we are talking about uh, actually building would have uh, 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 start, started. So that at the end of the year, we can say, well, these are some of the products in terms of structures um, that we now have in the school. This is how the staff uh, staffing situation has changed. This is how the um, the IT department has become. This is how the leader, leadership, leadership center has functioned over the new year. Okay. And we will have a major extravaganza in December. It's going to be a one week long uh, procedure. And we come from a we, in a place called Uzakul that has a lot of tradition where they have things that are noted uh, worldwide. You know, things like a, a Laoso and things like that. So those are things that will be incorporated in the one week long activity. We, 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 we are certain that um, with what you are, the, the snippet you are already giving us, it's looking like we just have to keep our eyes open our, and our ears peered because we will not hear the last of Methodist College's 100 year anniversary. 
Thank you, for gen uh, gentlemen, for being part of our conversation this morning. Chima Eric Mbubebu is an old student of Methodist College, Uzokole, as well as Pastor Emmanuel Anyele, uh, uh, also, of course, an old student of Methodist College, Uzokole. We wish you all the best in all of the celebrations that you're having. Thank you for being here this morning. Thank you. Yeah. So we'll be right back for another conversation to stay with us.